Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome back to creatorscreationscrafts.com. Obviously, today we're going to be doing fluid art on a or excuse me, on a plate. Um, so basically, I already had everything prepared. Um, so we're going to um, do a red, white, and blue theme for Fourth of July. I already have the back taped off. So here's the white. This is a flash blue, so it flashes at different points in time when different light hits it. And here's the red. And we're just going to pour it in this cup and do a flip cup. And here is my torch to pop all the bubbles. Very important that you have a small torch. Um, I just have a small one for the smaller projects and then I have a bigger one for the bigger projects. Um, but. Um, Remember that this is 4th of July, so if you see a veteran um, or their families, please make sure you thank them for their service. They do indeed um, sacrifice a lot. So that flash blue there, um, it has a metallic sense into it to where, you know, whenever you shift the plate or the painting and the light hits it just right, it, it's like a metallic flash. So they, that's why they call it a flash blue. I think it's called, um, it's by Folk Art, but it's called, um, I think it's Sapphire. I think it's Sapphire Blue uh, for, with by Folk Art. And then, of course, I just have um, True White, and then I have the True Red. And um, obviously, you can tell that this is a voiceover, or else my video would be very, very chaotic. My daughter was attempting to be an artist in training as she usually is she is my artist in training every time i paint she wants to be in the middle of it and you know what that's okay that's okay usually i give her a little mini canvas and let her um get her watercolors out and she can just paint along with me but at this point i ran out of mini canvases but i cannot tell you how many paintings i've had to redo because she would just drag her fingers in it but um, I was trying to keep her out of it, so I was just like, no, that's not yours. You know, just hang on a minute. Mommy's almost done. Just let's not touch. So there's the paint in the cup. But um, in judging, I really felt at this time that I didn't have enough paint, especially that there is a ridge in the plate. So um, to the outer ring, there's kind of a, a step up. And um, needed to definitely make sure that there's enough to cover those outer rings. So we're just going to add just a little bit more, and then we will um, go ahead and flip the cup, and then tilt tilt the plate. So I I certainly hope that you guys have a wonderful and beautiful Fourth of July weekend. Please be safe and, um, you know, make sure you put the caps back on the, the paint. Um, but um, leave, me, leave me a comment in the sections. What are you guys doing for 4th of July weekend? So here we go. Flipping the plate in one, two, three, and here we go. So we're just going to let the paint settle to what was the top of the cup, but now the bottom of the cup and um, for just a minute and um, if we were doing a ring pour we would be worried about the placement of the paints um, of course obviously when you're working with paints colors will mix but um, since we were doing a flip cup um, you know we weren't too worried about it because they're going to mix anyway once you flip the cup but if you're doing the ring pour, it's really important to watch out for the um, the placement of the uh, colors. So there you go, one, two, three. And 
I'm just going to drag the cup around the outer edge to make sure I got all of those little bumps around the rim of the center of the plate. And what you see me here is I just put the cup upside down to the side and let the paint finish dripping down. Um, I have wax paper underneath, so um, I just let it dry. I let the paint drip and then dry and then I peel it off and that gives me the paint skins to make the jewelry that I make. So here we are just popping the bubbles, making sure the bubbles are popped. Um, in this mix I use um, a one-to-one -one ratio between paint flow troll, which is a, um, a paint conditioner and a, a, an extender and then I have school glue which also extends the paint. So instead of just having one small bottle of uh, paint, I actually get three times more than what I had. So here's the paint and the plate, and we're just going to start to tip the plate and let that paint um, start covering up to the edge. We're not going to go over the edge right away, and the reason being is because if you just go straight over the edge, it's a possibility that you will lose more paint than you're wanting and then um, you won't have enough paint to cover the rest of the, the plate or your canvas if you so chose, so chose to use a canvas. Um, but we're just gonna um, tip the plate to where the paint gets close to the edge but not quite go over. But leave me a, a thumbs up and as a, you know, if you wanna subscribe, we're planning on doing more videos. Um, I just recently finished my bachelor's degree, so that was taking up quite a bit of time. But now that I'm done and in limbo, kind of looking for a job, um, we're, I'm going to be focusing a lot more on my business in the meantime. So um, we're not a huge business since we're just starting. This is more of a hobby thing, um, but we are planning on hopefully getting a little bit bigger. Um, I'm here in this little section, I'm just going to help the paint along and I'm just basically going to take my thumb and drag it out so that way the paint can kind of um, have a, a door opening if you will. It's kind of hard to go somewhere when it, you're stuck so I'm just going to help it along. And here we are, we're going to start going over the edge to make sure that all of the edges are covered. and. Um, you know, there are some paintings that require, or not require, I guess you could say, there's no rules in art, but um, they do have negative space. But in this particular plate, I wanted to make sure that the whole thing was covered. But yes, give a thumbs up and like and subscribe to our channel so that way we can see that you guys want to see more from us. Um, also check out Pearls with Carrie. She's strictly on Facebook, but she's a loving, uh, godly woman who um, works from home due to disability, um, but she's awesome. Also, if you want to see more fluid art, um, check out Christina Welch and Pouring Your Heart Out and Mixed Media Girl. All of those are awesome ladies to to watch and they're really really fun um and very very knowledgeable they will um and on our channel we're hoping to also start teaching you as well but they will teach you as well as show you and um they're great there's no rules on art and there's no rules on gaining knowledge either so um we all kind of all of us kind of believe that you know, our knowledge is your knowledge and the best thing to do is to share it. So here I am, I'm just touching up the sides and making sure that all of the sides are covered. There's no bare spots. Um, it's just kind of like a blank white wall and all of a sudden you see one black spot, one dot, and that's what you tend to focus on. So we're just making sure that the edges are covered and we, messy hands, yay. Always make sure that you have a good paper towel um, on hand or a paint rag, whichever you choose. There's more been more often uh, than not where I've had my hands covered and I forgot a paper towel and I have to 
run into the kitchen with paint dripping off my hands and thank goodness I have concrete pours. So we're just gonna pop the bu bubbles again. Making sure all the bubbles are popped and everything. Otherwise it would probably, um, they kind of leave divots in your paint. And it just kind of makes it look funny. And I, this is my smaller torch. I do have a bigger torch for my bigger projects. I have a big um, butane torch. And honestly, I was pretty terrified to work with it until, thank goodness, my husband is one of those men that just does all that stuff. And so he was able to show me. And um, that way I'm not so nervous about it. But um, I was terrified to use the torch at first. But once you use it once, it's like, oh, okay, this is not a big deal. So, um, yeah, so we've got the small torch for the smaller projects and the, the bigger torch for the bigger ones. But we are going to try to give you a close-up the best that we can. The camera's sitting on a, or my phone, actually. I was recording with my phone. It's sitting on a tripod, and it's sitting on the middle of my Lazy Susan. So, But I really like this design here. So we're gonna, I'm gonna pick this up and um, show you guys a little bit closer view and um, turn it a little bit so you can see some of the designs. I really like this design here. It really came out neat where the ridge is. It's just really, really vibrant. And thank goodness it dried this way. And what I'm going to do is Maybe put an embellishment on it. Maybe put God Bless America or an eagle on it. Um, you choose. You tell me in the comments, should I put God Bless America or an eagle? Like a bald eagle for our national bird. But I will be putting resin on it and it is food grade safe. Um, but this is a decorative plate. So there we are, our 4th of July plate. God bless and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.